Black Metal lesson number 31. Today we're going to talk about making riffs. I would recommend, please check out Black Metal Music Theory lesson 6 for watching this video. Purely because I'm going to go over some music theory terms and some terminology that you learn in that video. So to avoid confusion, watch that video. So in this video, we're going to break down famous riffs and talk about what they're doing and how you can implement those ideas in your own guitar playing. So we're going to start off with a classic, Transylvanian Hunger. Now let's break this down. Transylvanian Hunger is based around two chords, A minor and E minor. So this is based off a 4-1 chord progression in the key of E minor. The fourth chord being A minor, the first chord being E minor. Now, of course, you're not playing normal open a minors or E minors, we're playing them in a different way. We're playing them in a more black metal fashion. And the way we do that is by having our two notes, A, which is just open A, then the seventh fret of A, which is E. So those are the two root notes of each chord. And what Dark Throne did is that they added a melody with those bass notes. And the melody is this. You combine the two together. We get this very black metal sound. So the first thing you need to do is learn your scale. So the E minor scale consists of the notes E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. So when, when Dark Throne's playing this open A, they're also playing a D note. Then they go down to the C, then a B, then back up to C. Then for the next chord, E in the bass, with C as a melody note, then B, C, B. So that's something you can do when you're writing. Your bass notes, your root notes, on the guitar can just be one or two notes. But it's important to learn the scale around those notes so you can build a melody. Now there's another example from Behexen which follows the same idea. The song Night of the Blasphemy is based around these two chords, an E minor and a D major. So that's a 1-7 chord progression in the key of E minor. And here's how the riff goes. So let's break down the bass notes, the notes that don't move very much. So we have E, 7th fret of A, then right at the end, D, 5th fret of A. Then our melody notes are these, C, B, A, G, then F sharp, play the chords together. Then just the same, G and F sharp notes in a melodic fashion. That's something you can do. You can come up with a chord progression, any chord progression. We can go one, seven, six. And all I'm gonna do is keep these bass notes, E, D, and C. And then you can just use the notes in the scale around the bass note on the fretboard to come up with a melodic riff. And already there we've got quite a cool dyad based black metal riff. Now let's talk about Burzum. Let's break down war. War 
is based around the E minor scale, just all on one string. So all it does is just basically descend down the scale. So it goes E, B, C, E, A, B, E, G, A, E, F sharp, G, then back up to E, G, A. Then it kind of follows the same idea. But the second time ending, just goes all the notes in the scale from E to A, then finishes back down on the F sharp. Then it repeats the first time ending. Then the last time ending. Just finishes on two power chords, F sharp and G. That's another cool thing that you can use is just like some open strings and some open notes. Along with combining them with power chords. And of course you can do it with palm mutes, you can do it with open strings. You can even stick to like single note tremolo picking. That's another way you can use a scale to build a riff. So now let's talk about Immortal and withstand the fall of time. So it follows these chords in the scale. Which is just one, two, and three in the key of E minor. Now it's not strictly, now it's not strictly E minor because the note C sharp isn't technically in the key of E minor when you're playing this F sharp power chord, but it sounds cool. Metallica did it all the time. So there's the chords, one, two, and three. E, F sharp, G. Then it stays on the one, but just play differently. So you get the open E with the strums, then you have the palm mutes, three, one, two, seven, which are the chords G, E, F sharp, and D. And you can use whatever chord shape you want in the scale degrees. You can do power chords, dyads, triads, even seventh chords if you want to. And if you really want to push the box, you don't even need to bother with it being major or minor because remember, music theory is only a guide. You should never follow it. If you want to put in a major chord somewhere or a minor chord where it's not supposed to be there, do it. Try it. Continuing with Withstand the Fall of Time. So it starts off with a 1-3 because you've got the 1 with the E. Then it finishes on the two, so it's one, three, two. Except you can add that little melody. So it's combining the kind of dark throne idea where you're moving around a melody with a bass note in this riff as well. Now the next part, one, four, because you're playing the E, then the A minor. Then it goes one, four, three, because we finish on the G major. So now let's break down one more band and let's talk about Dimmu Borgir quickly. Let's talk about some of the riffs from Morning Palace and Verdes Bird. So the Morning Palace main riff. So now we're in the key of F sharp minor, and the chord progression is a one, because we're just playing this F sharp minor chord, then the ending, four, six, five, seven, which are the chords B, D, C, and then E.
And in the same song, we have this riff. And that's in the key of E minor, and that is a 5-3-1 progression. B, G, then E. And that melodic riff is based around those chords. And the same story with Wurdesberg, because you have the chords F minor, C sharp major, and A sharp minor. Then you just have that epic riff over the top of the chords. And of course, that riff is just based around those chords. And now this is something that you can implement in your songwriting. You can take any key, harmonize it, cherry pick some of the chords that you like within that scale, and then make some riffs around it. You can use these ideas, you can come up with your own ideas, you can create something entirely new. You don't even need to follow the theory 100%, you can just take the general idea and come up with your own riffs. And even forget keys entirely and just come up with different chords that you like the sound of.